everyone! Today we will learn about CSS filters, keyframes animation and CSS transforms by building liquid spinning loader. I created this effect in previous videos by using inline SVG filter that was part of HTML markup. Today we will achieve the same effect using just one simple CSS property. Let me show you how in this quick tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit the bell icon. This will be a quick one. Let's start. We will work with two files. In index.html, we link style CSS file and create a diff with a class of loader. Inside, we create nine children diffs with a class of particle. The second and the sixth one will also have a class of left spin. The fourth and the eighth one will also have additional class of right spin. In style CSS, we target the diff with a class of loader and give it position absolute. Then we target all our particle diffs and give them black background Width and height of 50 pixels and border radius 50% will turn squares into circles. Now we go back to loader. I give it display flex which will by default align its children horizontally. Padding 100 pixels is needed, otherwise the filter I will add later to create sticky liquid appearance would collide with edges and the effect would break. Align items center. White background is needed to make the filter work properly as well. Now I can position it in the center of the screen, top 50%, left 50%, transform translate, minus 50%, minus 50%. This only works because we set position to absolute. I will also give it rotate and set it to 0 degrees for now. I target the first and the last particle using first child and last child selector. This will only work on elements that are on the same level in HTML structure, so called siblings. I want to make the first and the last particle smaller, so I give it width and height of 25 pixels. Now I use nth child selector, which will again work only on siblings. I target the first, third, fifth, seventh and the ninth particle diff and give it animation I call pulse. This will repeat every 1.3 seconds, timing function is in and out and it will run infinitely. I also need to declare that animation using keyframes. At 0% transform scale will be 1, which is the base size. I add 3 more breakpoints. At 50% the scale will be 1.9, at 70% scale will shrink the particles to 0.6 and at 100% it will go back to 1. Now we have some pulsating particles. Particles with a class of left spin will have animation called left spin which will repeat every 2.5 seconds, timing will be linear and it will repeat infinitely. I use keyframes to declare it. This time I use only two breakpoints, called from and to. Particles will rotate from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Like this. I will do the same for right spin but I make the particles rotate other way around, from 360 degrees back to 0 degrees. I will also make it repeat itself every 2 seconds to make the movement more random. I also want the entire parent loader diff to rotate. I give it animation I call rotate. It will repeat itself every 20 seconds infinitely with linear timing. Keyframes for rotate will be simple, from transform rotate 0 to transform rotate 360 degrees. You can see for some reason the entire loader got pushed to the side. That is because I am centering it using transform translate here and now I am overriding that value with transform rotate. Unfortunately currently in CSS there is no way to separate translate, rotate and scale declarations. They are all part of single transform property, so I will have to include translate declaration in my keyframes, like this. Now it's nice and centered and everything is rotating and spinning as intended. I will give it liquid sticky appearance by applying filter property. In the previous videos I achieved similar effect using inline SVG filter that was part of HTML markup. In this case, we will just use CSS filter property which has much simpler syntax and in this case, we will achieve the same result. First, I apply blur 10 pixels and then I apply contrast with a value of 15 
which will sharpen the blurred edges. Very simple and effective. I get some unexpected jump in whenever loader div hits the edge of the browser window as it rotates. I can easily fix that by giving body overflow hidden. We can also improve this by making the movement more random and irregular by setting animation delay. I target the third, fifth, seventh and ninth particle diff and give it different animation delay values. Look at that. Really nice and simple loader animation, and we did all of that with just few lines of CSS. Thank you very much for watching. I have many more CSS and JavaScript animation tutorials on the channel. Check it out. See you next time.